First and, for, uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, also the true Lord, because I the King of Kings, royal to himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. I also want to find the true Father, one west. This is Father Kings, going back at you yet with another lesson. Before I go farther, this lesson, lesson 10 into the 12 trials of Israel, which consists of the so called African American black, so called Latino, Native American Indian descent. You represent the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Also, the confusion of faith that scattered abroad the sea and land. This consists of the so-called black, so-called Native American, so-called Latino as well. You also are mentioned as the Israelite foreigners. To you, I also say shalom and peace and blessings be unto you as well. Um, I'm going to call this lesson, um, why is it so hard for you, you women, primarily I'm talking about the Israelite woman, why is it so hard for you women to be a wife? Um, when you read the scripture, when you read the scriptures, it tells you the role of a woman. When you read Genesis chapter three, verse sixteen, um, these women do everything. Mainly, primarily, our women. And the reason why I want to get on our women because our women is actually the trendsetter. You know what I mean? They the, really do. Believe it or not, the black so-called black woman, so-called Latino woman, is actually the head of all the women. You know? You know? And the 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 uh, the energy that they push is. You know, anti the commandments. <laughs> they want to be everything and do everything but be a wife. You know what I mean? And let's get the role of a woman here real quick. So, uh, so like, before I get this verse, yeah, this is a YouTuber. And she's going into uh, ministry. And that's totally, totally against the scriptures. Now, if you want to teach, you should be teaching young women how to love their husbands. We're going to get that scripture and how to be good mothers and and to help lift the nation up, you know. Only our women don't do this foolishness. You know, and I'm talking about on a, on a broad scale, you know what I mean? You look at the other nations, you don't you don't you don't see you don't you don't see the East Indian woman <laughs> teaching against the East Indian man. You don't see the Arab woman teaching against the Arab Arab man. It's only our women that does this foolishness. You know what I mean? And it must stop. This is crazy. And you can't have a nation when you know women is out of line and it's you know, and to be honest with you, our women is really what really was holding majority of us back because they refuse to hearken. You know? All right, let's get a scripture real quick. Um, this is what the women supposed to be teaching. This is Titus chapter two, verse four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna start a couple more verses before that. The aged woman. Now, this aged woman is talking about a woman of understanding. Likewise, that they, they that, that they be in behavior as become holiness. Now, false accusers not giving to not giving too much wine. Teachers of good thing. And what's the good thing they supposed to be teaching? It's going to tell you right here. That they might teach the young women to love, to, um, to be, I'm sorry, that they might teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands. They'll go right to Genesis chapter 3, verse 16. Romans 15, verse 4, according to mine, says things written before past were written for our learning. It says to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, meaning they're not supposed to be on a wide scale. They not, in other words, they're not supposed to be seeking attention on Instagram on 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 a social media platform to try to get followers they're not supposed to be doing that they're supposed to be desiring their husband according to genesis chapter 3 verse 16 to be discreet chase keepers at home good obedient to their own husbands that the word of Yahweh will be not blasphemed because a woman can actually make a man go off that's what that means when it says the word of god be blasphemed you know um because if the woman goes off she can cause that man to to fall off you no, know, that's why the scripture says, um, a wise woman build her house up and a foolish woman tears it down with her own hands because she can cause that man to go off. That's what that means. A woman literally can cause a man to go off, you know, by her not playing her role. And that's why a lot of these women on this side is going to be destroyed. You know, a lot of these women is not going to hearken to the law, statute, the commandments of the most high. They refuse to be a wife, which is so easy to do. All you have to do is cleave to a righteous man. That's all the most I require required of you women is to support your husband. And our women is the only one that have problem with doing this. And by the way, we are the most valuable men on the planet. So you are blessed to even come across an Israelite man, even come across a righteous man presence. You know, and you women just cast that away like it's nothing, you know. 
Never was first Timothy Timothy chapter two verse fifteen. Never never was standing. She should be saved in childbearing. And what, how you be childbearing? You must cleave to a man. If they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety, meaning that she has to separate herself from this wicked present world and cleave to her husband. Genesis chapter three verse sixteen. With that, I want to close it out. I will give all honor, praise, and glory to our heavenly Father Yahweh. Also, true of the King of Kings, Royal to Himself Yahweh Shah Amashiach. Also, the final Father, true Father, one West. Shalom, Israel. Peace and blessings. Shalom.